Hello everyone, it's Daniel Baguera from Meteoro Speed Shop, Panama. Today we have here a 01 Jeep Grand Cherokee that the customer brought in to change the rear upper control arm. I want to show you some quick tips on how to do this job the easiest way possible. The first thing you have to do is of course jack up the car get it as fast as possible in order for the job to be easier and you're gonna lift it from the chassis why from the chassis because you need for the rear axle to drop as much as you can okay I've seen I've seen some people take out the the shocks and the the sway bar links and even the springs I'm gonna attempt to do it the easiest way possible without taking any of that the first thing you're going to take out is the nut from the from the joint of the control arm here it is it's a 22 millimeter next you're gonna do you're gonna lift the the rear end in order for the rear control arm to be to be as straight as possible and you're gonna heat it from the bottom up to get the to get the control arm released from the ball joint okay moving on with this Grand Cherokee the rear upper control arm I was trying to get out the separate the joint the ball joint using the famous ball joint separator I almost beat it to death and it's next to impossible so I'm proceeding in another way the ball joint the ball joint has three bolts three bolts that hold it to the housing I already struggled with one I got one out and half out the second one I'm missing the third one okay here's the thing I have to put out the three screws the joint is bad and here's the problem, the bushings totally destroyed, I can move, it, move them by hand so I'll get this change and I'll get back okay going on with the Grand Cherokee I got the control arm back from the machine shop they changed the bushings, how you see and here is the the joint turns out the joint was so stuck that even they had problems getting it out so, so I had to take out the three screws I beat it to death and couldn't take it out so it should be much easier to put in in this Jeep while changing the control arm we also noticed that the diff is leaking this is a Dana 35 so we decided to change the gasket and the oil first thing you should do is take all the bolts off they are 13 millimeters okay to get the rear cover off these ones got got RTV or Permatex if, if it had a gasket it would be much easier, if not you will need a flathead screwdriver and a hammer of course you will also need an oil drip pan to catch the oil when you sure there's not much oil left in the rear axle you take the complete cover off okay let's see how this this rear end looks 
It looks really good. It's an open differential. It has the mark is from start to end. It's in a good shape. It's only it it has only signs of normal wear. I just fitted back the rear rear end cover with a new gasket and I'm gonna fill it up. This is the way I fill it up because it's really uncomfortable because the fuel tank is right here and I'll, uh, I put a 5 8 hose and I put it up here should be really easy to get the oil down I'm gonna fill the rear end and the oil I like to use is this one 85W140 it's a bit heavier than the 8090 that everybody uses it's a little more protection for the rear end since the car is not new anymore it turns out that's a slow and boring job but it's done the idea is to fill it till it drips when it drips you put the, the cap back on and that's it Okay, it's almost done. The control arm is in. Not easy, not hard, not the hardest thing ever. But I didn't remove the springs or the shocks or the the sway bar. So I did the job in the easiest way possible. Either way, there's nothing easy right now some people say what well, but Daniel that Volkswagen are easy to work well that's true but you you're off by the slight little fact that they don't make it anymore but what about the new Beatles and that well that shit is not the same it's very very difficult so nothing right now is easy but this suspension work this rear end work I say it will be like a scale out of 10 like a 5 you can do it yourself with a little bit of patience 